this morning, um, and my colleagues. But uh, first of all, let me um, pass my condolences to uh, 80 to 100 people, Kenyans who have lost their lives uh, through this uh, disaster. You know, it is sad even to lose one life. So when you lose about 100 Kenyans, it's, it's, it's a really uh, huge number. Uh, so my condolences. I think, um, yes, uh, uh, Mumbi and myself have found ourselves in um, similar situations. And as Mumbi says, it depends on how you manage. But in this case, uh, we, the, the, I think the question we're asking, who bears the most responsibility? And why is there a focus, in our case, Kenya, on Governor Sakaja? Nairobi is a capital city. Everything that happens in this country happens in Nairobi. So Nairobi happens to be the mirror of the republic. And uh, there's uh, normally a saying that if Nairobi doesn't function, if it stops functioning, the entire region is affected. Forget about Kenya, the entire region, East and Central Africa. So therefore, um, uh, Sakaja finds himself in that situation. He's a man who is in charge. Um, they, my, my only uh, concern is, and, and I don't want to blame Governor Sakaja, because the if flooding situation is beyond his control. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's massive. You can see the destruction of um, uh, human life and property and what have you. It's massive. And as you said, it has happened across East Africa. In fact, in most of the parts of the world, um, even I, uh, there's been flooding cases yeah, in, in Dubai. In Dubai. Yeah. Um, I saw the other day in uh, Malaysia, I think. So, um, I mean, it's something that's happening, uh, is, is cutting across. The, the, the question is, in our case, um, I remember last year, when again we had been warned by the meteorological department Instead of preparing for it, some people, and I say this with a lot of respect and humility, because I come from a very, very religious background. Some people decided to pray. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that time, it was not as serious as now. But the meteorological department had sent a warning shot. Now, from the time, that time, last year, about the same time, where the president was saying, you know, um, this thing was to happen, but because we prayed and God listened to our prayers, okay, you know, the, the normals were not excessive. They were They're taking credit for yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the higher okay. than normal rainfall. Now, the question is, from that time to this time, were they still praying? Mm -hmm. And if they prayed, did they pray for disaster? That is a question that we must be asking. My point being that we have a department that has served us very well, the meteorological department. They had already sent us warning shots. They had told us to prepare for the last almost nine months. That time, at least, at least there were billions of money, billions of shillings that the governments and the county governments set aside for disaster, which didn't happen. Leave alone them telling us what that money did. Now, several months down the line, we are faced with a similar situation. We have not prepared for it. There are short-term and long-term measures that you can take to mitigate uh, these challenges. Short-term and clogging our drainage system, you know, completely. In readiness, you don't start unclogging when it's happening. You do it before it happens. So you prepare in advance. You take that, those steps to make sure that uh, it is not as severe as we are currently uh, experiencing. Okay. Long-term, <clears throat> I left office. I was in office for 36 months. I left office 12 years ago. We left this city with a master plan to deal with all these things that we are talking about. It is sad that 12 years later, we are in the third, um, we are actually in which, uh, the third uh, uh, cycle of, the cycle of de devolution, yes. we have billions of shillings billions of shillings have been transferred to the city of Nairobi. I think the city of Nairobi, just from the national government, they probably have received close to 100 billion. Mm -hmm. Now, you, what has that money done? Where has it gone to? Okay. You, you, they could not even get some of it. 
and partner with development partners to now uh, improve and have a sewer system that can contain such a disaster? Mm -hmm. Those are the questions that must be. And finally, uh, on that one, the, of course, again, the same department has said, now you're experiencing heavy rains. You are likely to face drought very soon. Now we're coming from very heavy rains mm -hmm. to drought. Okay? Now we are, we are crying about rains. Soon we'll be crying about drought. Our animals will be dying. People will be dying of hunger. So let us now learn to plan, okay. and not just to plan, but to act on the plans that we have. When, when uh, I it was said that uh, the government plans, yes, but more uh, to get ready to react after the disaster. Uh, it's not really to plan ahead to avert disaster. <coughs> and probably that's where the, uh, the problem is that, yes, right now we uh, need to understand that there is about a billion shillings that have been made available. Uh, for helping victims of the floods, uh, but there were no, there was no plan, <clears throat> especially in Nairobi, um, of ways to avoid uh, the kind of disaster we've seen. Could that be the problem? Well, first of all, good morning, and um, <clears throat> thank God that we are okay. Um, it, let me tell you, the only thing that happens in this country, which is for sure, is that. Whenever you produce money, people want to flood their pockets. That's what they do. And um, so that the disaster in Kenya begins with that. Everybody goes to office to try.